the Michigan primaries and the general election are coming up so we thought we should say something about why you should vote. Elizabeth Wallis from the League of Women Voters in Texas says here are some reasons why you should vote. She says if nobody votes it's not a democracy. If you don't vote people will not take you seriously. Voting is how you define yourself as part of something larger than yourself. Number four, if you do not vote, someone else will make the decisions for you. Voting is part of your independence. Number five, it matters. It matters to the future of you, your family, and your community. Six, people who don't vote are letting down their families and their communities. Moms, do you have an 18-year-old in your family? If so, give him or her register and be certain they vote. 8. Refusing to vote isn't a rebellion, it's a surrender. Number 9. Love your country. Prove it by voting. Number 10. Voting is the great equalizer. The richest billionaire in America gets just one vote, the same as you and me. Number 11. What do the smart people do? They vote. They are voters. Number 12. Elections have consequences. Be a voter. Elected officials make all the big decisions and they listen to the people who vote. Number 14. If you don't vote, you're invisible to the elected officials who make all the big decisions. Number 15. Did you know people with money spend billions of dollars on elections? Billions spent for television ads, mailers, people to make phone calls and to knock on doors. The smart people spending all that money are trying to influence the voters. If it didn't matter, they wouldn't do it. Number 16. If you don't vote because you think your vote doesn't matter, then the people who don't want you to vote because you are afraid of how your vote will not win. Number 17. Bad people are elected by the good people who did not vote. Hundreds of thousands of Americans have died to protect your right to vote. You owe it to them to vote. 19. Voting is the right thing to do. Start preparing to vote now. Go and register at the Secretary of State's office. Find out where your polling place is and be prepared to be the first person in line to vote that day. If you do not have transportation to the polling place, call your local library and find out who is offering free transportation to polling locations. Remember, vote.